Hey guys, this is Shipra from PC Tablet and today we are reviewing a new tablet from Asus ZenPad 7.0 Z370CG variant. After releasing Zenfone successfully in India, Asus is now looking forward to capture uh, some stake in tablet market by releasing new 3 Zenpads in India recently. And the three tablets are Asus Zenpad 7.0, Z370CG variant, Zenpad C7.0, Z170CG variant, and Asus Zenpad 8.0, Z380KL variant. These tablets were first showcased at the Computex 2015 by the Taiwanese manufacturer. Asus Zenpad uh, C7.0 is a trimmed down budget version of Zenpad 7.0. And uh, whereas Zenpad 8.0 is a stretched version of Zenpad 7.0. And we have the Zenpad 7.0 with us right now. So without any further ado, let's check out what does this affordable tablet has to offer. Now you're looking at the box package of Zenpad. On the back, we can see the box confirms. The Zenpad comes in black, white and Aurora metallic color choices. So uh, the box also has some informations like it is the 16 GB variant, it has 2.0 megapixel front and 8 megapixel rear shooter and it features DTS HD premium surround sound technology. Now uh, let's open the box. It's a simple briefcase style box and pretty easy to open unlike other device boxes. Here is the Zenpad 7.0. So uh, you can see it features DTS HD premium sound as I mentioned earlier. Asus is giving so much stress on audio quality, we'll check that later how precise uh, the quality claim is. An optional 5.1 channel audio cover can be used, we'll discuss that later in this video. It uh, houses an Intel 64-bit quad-core chip and the GPU is tweaked uh, with company's virtual master true to life technology to give better display performance as per company claims and we'll check that too later in this review. Now uh, look at the other accessories, here is the literature package that consists user guide and warranty card. You can see a 1.35 mAh charger with a micro USB cable. Unfortunately you don't get earphones in the package. Now getting back to the device, you're looking at a standard Android tablet. Asus has kept left chassis pretty neat whereas you can see volume rocker on the right side and the power key just below to it. A standard 3.5mm audio jack is located on the side of the top whereas micro USB port and the primary mic is fitted on the bottom of the tablet. The decorative uh, chrome finish frame edges gives the tablet a premium look and on the front we have beautiful 7 inch IPS display. Uh, that has a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels, anti-fingerprint coding and is well protected by Corning Gorilla Glass. The Asus Azen Pad has a 72% widescreen to body ratio which is bigger than uh, many competitors with a viewing angle of up to 178 degrees which makes content consumption uh, enjoyment on the screen. Actually, Asus has made of display only of two layers rather than conventional for using true vivid technology. The conventional ear gap has been eliminated and the cover glass and touch panel layers have been combined to offer a higher optical transparency, more than 94%. So the content feels alive on this display and gives you better readability outdoors in sunlight also. The selfie shooter and speaker is located on the top. Whereas company's shiny logo is printed just below the display, the embossed leather pattern finish bag gives a premium look and has rounded edges for more comfortable grip. According to its weight, that is uh, around 272 grams. The micro SIM and micro SD card slots are available under the back hood. The tablet is just 8.7 mm thick. I would say a perfect build to use the device in portrait mode and makes it comfortable to use while browsing, watching movies, playing games or even for short calls. Asus has opted in for an Intel Atom X3 quad-core 64-bit processor that is supported by 2GB of RAM and Mali 450 MP4 GPU which generates enough power to keep the tablet running smoothly. Switching between amps was a real smooth 
Also, uh, no healing issues were observed while playing graphic intense games, which is very rare if you compare with other Android tablets. In terms of storage, it houses 16 GB of internal storage where you uh, get around 11 GB of user memory out of the box. If it's not enough to fulfill your storage requirements, you can always expand it up to 128 GB via micro SD card. And the best part is that Zenpad supports OTG 2.0 USB drives. So just plug in the drive and access its content directly. Pretty useful at times. Now Zenpad comes with customized Zen UI over the top of Android 5.0 Lollipop. So uh, you'll also get lots of pre-installed apps such as My Asus, Omelette Chat, Mini Movie, Collage Maker, Zen Circle and few more. And seriously, I'm not sure if anyone is going to use most of them even for once. Zen Motion gestures are also available in this tablet. Zen Motion can be used to create shortcuts to instantly open apps when the display is off. For example, drawing a C with your fingers activates the camera. W launches uh, the browser and E takes you to email. Apart from touch gestures, motion gestures such as uh, shake twice to take a screenshot when using an app, simply flip the Zen pad over to make it silent or tap the screen twice to wake it up. Rest is uh, pretty much stock Android only. Now talking about the camera, Zen pad features an 8 megapixel rear and 2 megapixel front shooter to fulfill your video chatting and selfie needs. But honestly, specs seem to be uh, for paper use only as 8 megapixel autofocus rear shooter is nowhere near to as good as it should be. Though it has auto mode, HDR mode, beautification option, night mode, GIF animation, panorama click, a miniature mode that enables you to focus on a certain object. Uh, then we have slow motion, time lapse, etc. But none of these stands at par as a click picture lack in color reproduction and details. Front camera performance is also just acceptable for video calling purposes and for selfies. You need to be in proper lighting conditions else what all you will get is a black shadow of yourself. On the connectivity front, it has standard Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, GPS, 3G micro SIM card slot and micro USB 2.0 port. In terms of battery, it houses a 3450 mAh battery that gives a battery life of around 7-8 hours max on moderate usage. Whereas other 7-inch tablets such as Nexus 7, iPad mini or Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.0 offer over 9 hours of battery life on moderate usage. The battery is something that is going to be an issue here. If someone is to blame for poor battery performance, you need to blame Intel's Atom processor. They are yet not as power efficient as one from Qualcomm or MediaTek. Moreover, it takes more than 4 hours to get completely charged from its own charger. Companies also tend to release uh, cases and cover for their tablets, so Asus is no exception here. Asus has released one case and one cover for Zenpad 7.0. Asus Audio Cover, which is an external speaker system. It has four main DDD HD channel speakers, one at the center, and a subwoofer all housed in one single strip. It also has its internal battery that has a playback time of 6 hours to power the speaker system, and the cover also acts as a protection for the screen and allows the tablet to stand in landscape mode. Just snap in the cover, and it's all ready to serve you. The Zenpad 7.0 is available for Rs. 11,999 in Indian market, whereas if you opt in to buy audio cover as well, uh, the bundle is available for Rs. 14,999 in market. So that means audio cover costs 3,000 rupees extra. And in my understanding, it's worth every penny. I've been using this tablet for about a month now and every claim that Asus has made regarding uh, sound quality and audio quality seems true because it definitely delivers ultimate surround sound quality. If we have to sum up good and the bad in few points, now starting with the good, it has pretty uh, nice build, easy to hold and you can operate it in any dimension easily, Zen UI with touch and motion gestures, 3G SIM support and OTG drive support. And the bad about the phone is low battery life as I mentioned earlier, awful camera performance and definitely slow charging. 
So uh, routing takes off, I would say uh, the audio cover is a worth buy if you are looking for a good protective cover along with add-on speakers. And apart from 2-3 tweaks, ZenPad 7.0 is a worth every single penny and uh, it's in my knowledge it's best option available in this price segment. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you have liked our review, please hit the subscribe and like button down below there and stay tuned with us for more quality reviews like this. See you guys in the next one. Till then, have a great time.